Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Fantasy Star 3 Generations of Doom from the Sage Genesis Classics Library. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode... What did we do? Uh, we ended Reese's adventure, officially. And we... Uh, we got married to Maya. And now we're playing Ains Adventure. And at the beginning of Ains Adventure, he's a ripe 15 years old, um, ready to take on the world. Uh, kind of pushed on him by his father. His father, well, Reese, right? King Reese now, who's ruling Sill. It's like, son, it's time for you to go be a man, basically. And so Ains like, all right. Um, you know, he's got Mew and Ren. He's fine. Right. So anyway, that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing. Is uh, Rysel Village still honors her father? We're we're uh, we're out and about trying to figure out where this mysterious army of cyborgs has come from who have uh, defeated our land monster army or whatever. Um, so now we're in Rysel. We're still on the hunt. We've been through the town of. Sil, Shashor, and Ago, and no one knows where the cyborgs are coming from. We're at peace with the Arakian towns of Ago and Rysel. Satellite? It's nothing more than a tall tale. We're searching for this satellite, which apparently is a, a haven, a safe haven, where we can all live in peace. Uh, yeah, we know how those types of stories go, or how they really turn out. Anyway... So try to find out uh, who's responsible for the cyborg attacks, where they're coming from, where is satellite, so we can save our people. <clears throat> um, anyway, I think, is this the guy we need to talk to? Aha, yes, a messenger arrived from your people, Prince. They're under attack and need you desperately. So this, this guy is the trigger. I was going to talk to him at the end of the previous episode, but I decided, no, we'll just, uh, we'll just play it straight. Um, anyway, I don't think I need to... Yeah, I got the forest boots at the end of the last episode, so we don't need to do it now. Is there anyone up here to talk to? No. Uh, I think that's the only guy that we need to talk to here. There's nobody else, I think, that gives us any useful information. Let's head up the stairs here. Nope. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. So, we might as well just head back across the sea. Oh, uh, yep, no one's here. Okay, let's uh, head out. And across the sea we go. Back to... Uh... Where are we going? We're going back to... Straight back to Shasorin. Wait, does Ago have... I'm just curious. Does Ago have anybody... Or does Ago have anything to say? Does anybody in Ago have anything to say? Jeez, that was way too much effort. Welcome to Ago. Nope, apparently they're totally oblivious to a cyborg army that just happened to bypass their town and go and ransack Shasorin and Sill. Of course, you know, they would be passed by their... Um... They're Arikians. No one would bother them. Uh, I wonder if the king has anything to say. Or his people. Sil and Shishore are in flames! Well, that's... Helpful, maybe. Some people from Sil and Shishore escaped. 
Everywhere you go, there seems to be fighting. Oh, that's very profound. Thank you. Let's see. I don't think anybody else has anything useful to tell us. Is it just me, or are the frames a little laggy? I don't know. Um, whatever. Okay, well, we are... Off to, uh... Shisorin. Oh, the people of Sil and Shasorin fled. Well, where did they go? Let's see if we can find some clues. Now, the thing about this part is, I believe... Well, maybe not. I don't, I don't know if you have to... So the towns are empty. There's no one here. We're not going to wander around. Uh, there's no one. Any, there's no shopkeepers. There's nobody. Um, and I don't remember if you have to. Oh, hello. That's right. We have to. <laughs> I forgot. They can attack us in our castle. Anyway, so what was I even going to say? I. Oh yeah. I don't remember if we have to talk to this NPC up in, um, where are we going again? Sill. To our home city of Sill, or not? Iron Grand Level, hooray! That's awesome. Um, but, uh, so we'll do it for good measure. Because we're going to end up going to, um, Iridia. All right. He's down thir almost 30 HP. That's fine. He's, he's fine. I think with Ains Adventures, the cyborgs... Well, maybe not as it goes later on. But right now, it's... Uh, I think it's easier to manage them and predict what damage you you can mitigate or absorb during the battle I think actually I'm thinking about Niles quest and that might even be wrong Nile is a uh, very you know Niles much stronger as far as like uh, physical damage than Ain is. But, of course, Ain. See, so you're down 19. That'll, yeah, that'll heal you all the way to the top easily. No probalo. Alright, gotta go all the way across Sandbar again. Oh, hello. Hmm. It's too bad that Ain doesn't have techniques that can hurt offensively. Oh, stop with the Graw. Come on, man. <clears throat> nice. All three of them gained a level. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and cast... Oh, no, Ain, you're up. Look at that, 18 uh, points towards Gyrez. Boom, everyone's at max health except Mew. Yeah, very powerful, that spell. Or that technique. Sorry. Uh, and in Sill, there's no one here except for one person. This dude. The cyborgs were too powerful to be resisted. Everyone fled to Iridia, but I refuse to leave. Oh yeah, are you just going to get mowed over by the cyborgs? Is that it? Uh, but yeah, I believe all of the shops are empty. Nobody here. 
Uh, okay, it seems like the frames have gotten better, but that was weird. There was like a brief couple of minutes where it was like, whoa, the frames are a little bit um, like jerky. Okay, well, we are headed to uh, Rydia. Hooray! I wonder why they can attack us in the castle but not in the city or in the town. That would make that would make sense. I mean, if the town's a ghost town, it's been overrun by cyborgs. Why wouldn't they be in the town as well. Maybe they just didn't want to program it that way. Like, ah, we don't want to program it so that they take fights in this in the town. We want that. That would be a little rude. So thank you for your consideration. I guess. I love it when I surprise the monster. Go ahead and uh, take this opportunity to. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say get Ren's HP down. I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to get or not HP as TP. Get his TP down to uh, cast the uh, to use the um, technique glitch because the occasions in which we surprise the monsters are not that frequent and I don't remember if there's a way to uh, encourage it or oh wow they have guy res? okay or you know to, to kind of manipulate the RNG uh, that's that's what I was trying to say yeah I don't know how to manipulate the RNG if there's a way to do so um, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Oh, and by the way, um, the time it took to grind all the Meseta required to get all of the gear that we had to the end of the first generation was, I think, about... I want to say about two hours, so it wasn't terrible. And I did not use the fast-forward button, so... Um, had the fast-forward button been utilized, it would have taken us half that time um, so why didn't I use the fast forward button I don't know I don't know I don't have answers I guess it, because it didn't feel um, <laughs> because it didn't feel like fantasy star 2 <laughs> oh fantasy star 2 grinding is awful um, fantasy star 3 grinding it doesn't feel as, as like just torturous, I guess. That's the best, like... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We want to... Bah! Um... Yeah. There we go. Thank you! Take my money twice because I messed up. Whatever, it's fine. Alrighty, we are off to Aridia. And we're fine on medicines and everything. Okay, I believe I remember the way. It wasn't too long ago that we came here with Prince Reese. Pursuing Maya. I don't remember if the chests are here or not still. They might be. If they are, they'll be empty, right? Oh, uh, can I see it? Nope. That chest just to the south of us. Get him. There we go. 
Very nice. Straight down, then break left. Oh, hello, Agra Agrabot? Was that what it was? Yeah, Agrabot. Um, eh, I don't know. 13 damage, okay, that's not bad. I still don't like Ren to be first because it looks goofy. I know, I know, I know. It's not practical, but I don't care. Um, the hero always walks in front and takes the f and face tanks everything because I'm the hero. see let's go ahead and cast a nice guy res and get everybody up and that's a powerful spell I love that mm. I just want to see how what effect that sue has on these uh, cyborgs 35 okay all right, so that doesn't look like they're resistant, if you will. All right, they give good experience at Meseda, those Agrabots. Very cool. Uh, attack. I wonder if it's a set thing that the order that your the order that your party goes in as far as attack just gets reversed each round when you just um, have it auto combat. So, for example, first it goes Ain. I don't know if it's the same with the uh, monsters because I don't really pay attention to them as much. So Ain goes, then Mew, then Ren will go. And then Ren will start the next round. Oh, never mind. I guess not. That was just something that I was noticing, thinking, wait, is that a set thing? I didn't think it was. Alright. And we are out of the passageway to Aridia. Alright. Uh, let's go to Has Attack. And talk to some cyborgs. Maybe they know what their buddies are up to and why they're harassing us. Ooh, sticks attacks. 13 damage? Just by whirling a little ball around your head? Dumb. Well, let's be honest. Most of these combat animations of enemies are silly. <clears throat> like in Fantasy Star 2... Even even when you took uh, very little damage, you know some of the uh, combat, some of the combat anim animations. Well, I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Some of the combat animation. Uh, wow, some of the combat animations made you feel like, oh my goodness, we're gonna die. Even when uh, you didn't uh, take more than one or two damage, like the. Uh, is it the Fanbite and the Locust? The, the Locusts, right? Those are the first in that series of, of monsters. You know, whenever they would, like, swing that, you know, giant pincer at you, 
it would be like, oh crap, uh, brace for impact. Uh, but you know, that uh, that was just their animation. And then in Fantasy Star 3, you can take a boatload of damage, and all the little monster does is, you know, flick a finger at you or something. Anyway, it seems... <sighs> and not anticlimactic, but uh, counterintuitive. It doesn't make sense. Let's just say that. Alright, let's talk to these cyborgs. Hello! The cyborgs of Hazatask rarely get human guests. You've been saying that the last 15 years. Say something different. Um, hello, cyborg person. An old crate. Okay, no new information from you. But thank you. They're like, we're not helping. Your f oh, there we go. Your family and friends fled far to the west. They have the twins' ruby, the key to Landon. Alright. You can reach satellite from the eastern world. But you need the power topaz first. Really? Well, that's helpful. Hello, cyborg. The power topaz belongs to Lena's daughter. Gossip has it that she now lives in Landon. Hmm. Some pretty juicy gossip. Alright, let's check the shops and everything. I don't think there's any other information here that is useful to us. Nobody upstairs. Makes me wonder uh, if you were to try and explain. Well, if Haz Attack is too harsh for uh, Lanes and Arakians, why are there, you know, why are the shopkeepers not cyborgs? And the answer, of course, is lazy programming. Just didn't want to deal with it. I mean, granted, they are next to the river. Um, however, what do they eat? You know, uh, the, the monsters that were chasing after Reese in the first generation, they weren't, reg they're not regular denizens of the desert. They were just after Reese. Um, and so being, you know, an arid wasteland, what does Aridia, what do they do? Do they grow crops on the bank of the river. You know, this is just wild speculation. This is just, uh, you know, filler chat while we search these shops for any ran random cyborg. Okay. We know where our folks are. Let's go ahead and save and then head over there. I'm going to, I want to try to get to Draconia, uh, before, uh, we call the episode and we're making pretty good time. Right here, level six. That's fantastic. Uh, let me check the. Make sure I'm not skipping anything, because like I said, we're moving right along. Uh, yeah, nope, we're on, we're on, we're on track. All right, let us head west to the cave where we found Ren in the first generation. Get him, you. All right. What level? Okay, 23, 22, and 6. Alright. Get those laser bots. Get them.
Here we go. Oh no! Hey, they didn't cast Gra on me. Spoke too soon. I was gonna say, these little arachnids, they love to cast Gra. Which I think it's worthless to skill any of your party members with Gra, I think. I think it's like the worst t technique. There are a lot of techniques in this game are so bad. Um, they're so bad. As far as having utility. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, the Prince A and your family await you in the cave. Okay. There's, wait a minute. I surprised the monsters. All right. Why are there monsters in the cave? I want to know that. Huh? Huh? Get him. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, nice. Why are they attacking me and not you? It's rude. Uh, we're fine. On help. No, seriously, like, it doesn't make much sense that there's cyborgs in this cave when the cave is supposed to be, like, the safe place for my family? Like, what's that soldier doing there? Like, you're doing a bang-up job of security, dude. Alright, let's get him. Suzanne. There we go. Nice. I wonder if when they were programming the uh, the like the monsters that you had to fight after they got done with the first generation, they were like, man. Oh, nice. Was that everybody? Um, I... Oh, it was Rain and Ren. Nice. I wonder if the uh, programmers or developers thought to themselves, you know, we made it really uh, difficult to level up early on. Let's kind of give them a break. Oh, fetch. Alright, whatever. That's away. Very nice. I don't know why I always go up and around that. It's faster to go below it like this. Since we're not, uh, we, we've already got the escape pipe. Hello, young man. We're all that's left of Sil and Sassorn. That's depressing. There's like seven of you here. Ambushed. Oh man, ouch. Oh, only six? That's not bad. Hmm, those uh seekers. They're not terribly dangerous. They've got they've got good defense though. Uh who else who's all in this room anyway? I wonder if they programmed monsters to appear in the cave because they figured, uh, they're going to need the extra experience, so let's program them in the cave to, uh, mm. 
Why are they playing the Doom music? It's not like this grouping of monsters or cyborgs is gonna wipe the walls with me. Come on. Maybe it's because Ain's health was low. I don't know. A rude presumption on their part. Well, hello, fellow Lan. Lyle's in bad shape. He may not live very long. What? The Dragon Knight can't die. Hey, Lyle. You must rescue my daughter Thea for me. She has been taken to the east by our enemies. I have to walk all the way across the world again? Yep. <clears throat> The dragon steer will unlock the cave. All right. You know, interesting that uh, this does nothing, but I just like to do it for memes. Um, I was gonna say. Oh, interesting that all of the gems so far that act as keys to other worlds uh, what am I going to say? have been given us by the Leyans. The Power Topaz which is owned by of course uh, what's your face? Sarai. Is it Sarai? Or? I, like, I like Sarai. There's no pronunciation guide. We can call him what we want. That she has <clears throat> a gem. You are our last hope. Be brave, Ain. What do you think I've been doing? I walked across the entire world of uh, Eridia to find you guys. Please help my friend rescue Thea. All right, Dad. <clears throat> All right, let's go. It's down 39, that's fine. He's still at about half half health, half life, whatever. Oh crap. If the Agrobots cast Graw, we'll be just fine. Don't die, Ain! No, seriously, don't die. You have the best healing spells. If you lose the ability to cast forever, we're hosed. There we go. This, I think you have the best rever, right? Oh, no, it's, uh, well, pff, both of yours are terrible. Never mind. <clears throat> um... We are now going all the way back to the east. Ambush, what? Oh wait. Yeah, we have to go all the way to the east. I think it's east and southish. Trying to look on my map here. Well, it's like the hand-drawn map, you know, that uh, it looks like, you know, a cartographer's map. Um, uh, man, and you're getting beat up. I guess if Mew uses all of her technique points uh, healing, then we can use the surprise exploit, but yeah, whatever. Just always looking for opportunities to save time in combat. 
you know, thinking about all of the the flaws of this game, flaws or irritants or things that don't make sense, it's a kind of a marvel that they came out with Fantasy Star 4. Truly, I mean, this this game could have been a flop. Um, I think if it hadn't had a connection to, you know, the Fantasy Star universe. And the, if it didn't have the generational features, because that was something brand new. That had never been done before. That was cool, right? Uh, no one had ever done that before that I that I know of, at least not by 1990 or 1990. Well, no, it was 1990 in Japan, right? 1991 in the U.S. Anyway, uh, or North America. But uh, that feature, I think, alone is what uh, was really the draw. It's like, oh, I can, you know, choose my own adventure. This is super cool. Uh, but man, there, there's a lot about this game where if I were to just analyze it as not an aficionado of the Fantasy Star series, I'd think, man, what is the deal with Fantasy Star 3? I've already complained about like, you know, 17,000 things, um, and I like this game. <laughs> Can you imagine if I didn't have any like nostalgia, uh, nostalgic attachment to this game? How uh, badly I'd be griping. It might not have even made the list to, uh, to Chronicle, actually. Uh, like, the reason why Fantasy Star 1 wasn't Chronicled was I had, I had zero personal experience with the game. I, you know, I had seen it been played, beat, everything. I could play it through and beat it uh, just by what I witnessed of it. But I didn't have any personal connection, experience with it, so I'm like, nah, we're not going to do it. Um, don't care. Uh, don't care enough to do so. And dungeon crawlers, uh, they were never my favorite in the first place either. So it, uh, you know, it wasn't a great loss. I thought. All right, let's go ahead and rest in Haz Attack and save. And uh, let's see, where are we? on time. Uh, let's go ahead and call the episode. Um, because you never know how long it's going to take you to do a pass away. Because we have to go from a... We have to walk all across... Uh, well, halfway across Has Attack now. Not Has Attack, Iridia. Uh, to... Yeah, the far... Far Eastern Cave. And then go through the passageway. And then walk to the next town. So... Um, we'll do that all in the next episode. So, we are now in pursuit of the cyborgs that uh, took Thea, um, Lyle's daughter. And so, of course, uh, Thea, we're going to rescue her and um then uh, continue on with our adventures so until our next episode so long for now <laughs>